Up next, we have Karen Hatton Summer Camp. What yeah. you need to know about this is we, they are a residential program slash school from Westminster, Westminster, Vermont, grades K through 8. Happy 4th of July to you guys. Let's give it up for them, everybody, nice and loud. Love yeah. the tie-dye. Kernan's an amazing place. They've been around since 1892, so they must be doing something right. That's for sure. Thank you for coming, folks. Want to do this one, too? Yes, I'll do that. I'm hoping to actually try to get him to play this year. Oh, yeah? All right, coming up next, everybody, something uh, most of the people in the area are familiar with to at least some degree. It's Main Street Arts. And what you should know about them is this year bringing the Great American Theater Festival to Saxton's River. Equus, the oh. play, is being presented right now. Well, not right now, but, you know, in the next couple of days at Main Street Arts. And if you would like to know anything about Main Street Arts, I've been told to visit their website. Um, they're always looking for good people, and uh, feel free to reach out to them with anything you might like to know or for show times or anything like that. And that is a horse, just in case you're wondering. Of course. Yes, a horse, of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. But not Mr. Ed. No. <laughs> if it was, something went horribly awry. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Oh. Next up is High Meadow Farm, Westminster West Road in Vermont. Howard Prusak is the farmer, Vermont's oldest certified organic vegetable and herb farm. 65 acres, largest employer in Westminster West. Thank you very much. Farming since 1971, the truck is an original Chevy C20, 1969. And I bet that AC is just cranking in that thing, isn't it? <laughs> you yes. can feel Yes. It. And you're giving out seedlings. What are the seedlings? Herbs. Herbs. Oh, basil. Uh, I should have known Incidentally, that. basil is a great car freshener. Yes. So if you put, if, if you ever have like, uh, in the summer, we always leave our towels in the car too long. And uh, we get that dingy smell a little bit sometimes. You take a couple uh, leaves of basil, put them under your seat. That tends to help deodorize very, very nicely. Wow. You learn something new every day. Life hack 101. <laughs> We have a blue CX-5 parked on where? On Burke Hill. On Burke Hill, and it has to move, please. All right, we got Cub Scout Pack 258 from Springfield, Vermont. Thank you for coming today. Andrew, were you ever a Cub Scout? Andrew? What? Aaron, oh, I'm sorry. Aaron, were you ever a Cub Scout? Yes, I was. I was actually a Cub Scout. Uh, Wolf Cub, or, yeah. and I mean, all the way up, I went up to Weeblo. Oh, wow. And then, unfortunately, it kind of stalled out in my area. Nobody, we didn't have a pack master. Oh, so, that's Or pack leader. But uh, oh. I always love to see these guys in there, in the uh, the uniform, and with all the badges and everything, and the little, yeah. the little kerchiefs. Those are fantastic. Nice job. These guys are from uh, uh, Springfield, Perkinsville, Weathersfield, Rockingham, and many other towns. This is their, they are introducing their youth to citizenship, leadership, and most importantly, friendship from kindergarten to fifth grade. Um, just like the tiger says, we're great. We're great. <laughs> that was a better Tony the Tiger. Oh, 
All right. right. Nice. Good job. Let's give it up for him, everybody. That was said with authority. Is the, uh, is the Cub Scout motto the same as the Boy Scouts motto? What is that, guys? Do our best. Do Fantastic. our best. To do our duty. Yep. All right. Um, what we got next? Aaron, I apologize. I oh, no worries. Yeah. The next parade entry is our Pleasant Valley Hockey Association. Uh, what you should know about them is the... The Pleasant Valley Association is a volunteer nonprofit organization dedicated to providing boys and girls who are interested in the game of hockey an environment to develop their skills and have fun, where fun, competition, and friendships collide. Kids, so oh, I don't have to read that part. <laughs> They'll be donning their hockey gear here. Um, I got to give it up to you guys, black and orange in this heat, and I know for a fact those are not light jerseys, um, but uh, great. Great to wear your colors and let everybody know your pride in your, in your team. And uh, let's give it up for them nice and loud, everybody. Yeah, good job. They're yeah. yeah! I think they're fired up. They are just a little fired up. <laughs> well, it's so hot, of course. <laughs> All right, this looks like more Main Street Arts. And they have a show coming up, Scenes from an American Life, at Vermont Academy, I believe, right? Yes. 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 All right. Uh, oh, there it is. We've been part of Saxons River for 30 years, Main Street Arts says. Join us. All right, come. There's Mr. Stickney. A little close there. All right, the next float here is the Lawrence Farm. They've been around. Oh, string band. I'm sorry. My bad. I got a little uh, jump the gun on that one. Main Street Arts String Band. I apologize, guys. Let's give it up nice and loud. Sorry, I saw the hay and I thought it was a farm. I apologize, guys. And they'll be kicking off the bandstand in a little while when the music begins here on the bandstand. Fantastic. All right. Now we have the Lawrence Farm, established 1948. What you should know about them is this is a 1964 Ford F750. Wow, that's a beauty. That is a beautiful truck, as well as a 1946 Farmall B and N in the back of that. Ah. Now, is that Farmall running? It does run. It is fully functional. That is awesome. What year was that Farmall? 1946. Wow. They don't make them like that anymore. Next up is Longview Forest, locally owned and operated forest management and logging company. I have nice. never seen one of those before. I got to say that is, I imagine you can get just about anywhere in one of those. Yeah, I'm pretty, pretty sure that would take care of a forest in a short time. Longview. Or if the zombie apocalypse happens, I guess that would be the the yeah. best thing to have, too. I mean, absolutely. Quite the rig. And then coming up next, we have. Fergus Family? Fergus, yeah. Fergus? Mm hmm. Uh, and the Fergus. And uh, we have the Fergus Family Tractor Pull in memory of Linda Fergus. On the back, we have a 1951 and 52 tractor or tractors. Oh, I know that guy right there. <laughs> and the Fergus family, uh, you might know this, Aaron, but their family donated the land upon which our rec area exists, the Saxons River rec area. I did not know that. Yes. I enjoy the rec area pretty regularly during the summer. Yeah. It's really a great legacy. That, I mean, I can't think of a better thing to give the community. Yeah. Well, it's going to get kind of loud here, but on behalf of Aaron and I, just want to thank you for coming out today. I hope everybody has a wonderful 4th of July. We're going to have some great live music coming up. 
Have a great day, everybody. Have a good one. And again, thanks once again for your participation, your energy. And remember, all proceeds from this event go to sponsor next year. So feel free to give. Uh, all donations are accepted. Thank you. I like the queen wave, miss. Look at the queen. We got the queen on the fire truck. Woo! What's going on, Patches? Good to see you, bud. Rockingham Volunteer Fire Department. These are the guys you you hope never to need, but when you need them, you really appreciate when they show up. I gotta say that when I first moved to Bells Falls, I was really taken aback by the level of involvement of the fire department. You know, whenever the team wins one of their many titles or awards, the fire department is always the first people rolling down Main Street, putting on a big show, welcoming the champions back after a really big win. So let's give it up once again for the I mean, for the BF Fire Department. Yeah. All right. Woo! And the Grafton Rescue Squad. Again, another great group of guys that you hope never to have to see, <laughs> except yeah. here. And one of the wonderful things about all these different departments is they all help each other out. Anytime, you know, there's an incident anywhere around here, they all show up, and, and that's just great. You know? And that is absolutely true. We've had, unfortunately, they've had a little more to do than usual is in the Bellows Falls proper area with the, some of the big fires that we had there this year. But um, luckily, they did, they did an amazing job, really pulled it together, and, uh, you know, reduced the amount of... of, of, of damage that was that could have been possible so yep absolutely their professionalism and uh, their sacrifices are always appreciated <laughs> Westminster everybody <laughs> Woo! I'm not going to say I can't, I can't hear you because I can definitely hear them. What was that? I'm not going <laughs> <laughs> to. There's some candy. All right, we got some candy. get to sit up in the ladder that looks like fun hey guys I think he's eating all the candy I don't think he's throwing any out <laughs> that's why they don't let me do this frankly <laughs> between pies and candy 
Nothing escapes my wrath. And up next, we have your North Walpole Fire Department. Yep. Our friends from across the river, never too busy to lend a helping hand. They don't let that Connecticut River get in the way of helping out people. They in the do not. Myself being a uh, New Hampshire original native, a tra Vermont transplant, I've known and uh, been, a, been associated with many of the volunteers yeah. at the North Walpole Fire Department. And they are never, they're always itching yep, to good. jump in and lend a hand. And I believe with the last vehicle here, that will conclude the parade of all sorts. While the storm clouds gather far across the sea, let us wear allegiance to a land that's free. Let us all be grateful for our land so fair as we raise our voices in a solemn prayer. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above from the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam god bless america my home sweet home god America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, land that I love. Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, from the mountains to the prairies, to the oceans, white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. God bless America, my home sweet Just a moment, Chase G. <clears throat> uh oh, 